We're at the Diverse Tech booth at AHR 2023, and we're here to highlight the Assurity Condensate Management Solutions. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate a clogged drain. And so the uh, water inside this primary pan is going to be filling up, and we have our condensate switch here, which is only a manual reset. So that's very important. So it's actually uh, has tripped right now. And let's just say that we have unclogged the drain and what's gonna happen is the water level is gonna lower and the float on the inside is not going to reset. So you need the technician to come out in order to diagnose what the problem is. And so if you're using these wires to cut off the R wire to the system or even the Y wire, you know, this is not going to be resetting until the technician comes out. And that's very important because you could have a situation where this unit is turning on, turning off, turning on, turning off, and the water slowly drains through the whole system down into the pan and then the system turns back on but you're going to have the water kind of coming out into the building and that's going to be causing a lot of damage to the building so it's it's very important to have a uh, manual reset reset switch right here and so you can just press this button but what's nice about these is you can actually open this up in order to clean out the inside and so we all know that with a condensate, we do need to take care of it and do our preventative maintenance. And so we can just reset it just like that. And I'll just give you one more example of this right here. This condensate switch is going to trip. So right now we're simulating that this primary condensate pan is filling up with water. And you're gonna see this latch. And so it's gonna latch in the upwards position. And now these two wires right here, the switch is open. And so now what we'll do is we'll act as if we have cleaned the uh, condensate problem out, we cleaned the clog out, and now we have it draining and it is not resetting. So once again, very important to figure out what the problem actually is. We can't just have the system be turning back on again because it could drain water through the building. Now that's reset. Here we have the Assurity AC Easy T. It's a very quick, easy clean out section for your piping and you have your clear clear piping. So once again, you can see if you're gonna have any problems. This is uh, what I wanted to highlight now. And so you have a test function by being able to pull this up and you have a LED light. And so let's just pop this up. You can actually see that if I pull this up, we're gonna be pulling the float up. So that's how that works. It's going to be breaking the electrical, the electrical switch right here if the water level rises within the switch. So it's gonna trip that float that's inside. But once again, what's nice about this is there is that LED light. So then coming down here next to this gas furnace, we have our condensate pump and you have these little caps right here that'll close it off so you don't have any extra debris going down into your condensate pump. And of course you take your clear poly line and you'll pipe that to a location where, where you're going to be uh, draining your condensate line. This is the other thing I wanted to, to point out. This right here is a kind of a low tech solution, which is very good. You know, it, it's, it's very reliable and there's a float inside. And so this, what's nice about this is you can put this on any type of angle. So, so basically if this, this section right here was clamped on an angle like this, well, what's nice is you can just push this down, right down into the pan and it's gonna be just stuck right there just due to tension. And so you can set this up in any type of angle to get it down into the bottom of the pan. And so you just have these little clips right here to hold it in place. So that's very nice. Uh, and so you're always gonna wanna have a secondary pan in order to protect the system uh, and actually the building from any damage. So if for whatever reason you had a uh, condensate problem up high and condensate was dripping down either within the cabinet or outside the cabinet, the secondary pan is gonna protect the building from any potential damage. The whole point of this is it's the redundancy, right? So if you have a, a condensate switch here, here, you have another one up high, you know, that's gonna make sure that you're not gonna have a problem with any condensate, condensate issue in your building. Now, the other thing is right here, you see that this is just open right now. So if you have a condensate switch, you could actually uh, put sealant right here. You can put a cap on here or you can drain this. Uh, but really, you should never have any water down inside this pan. 
Now there's another type of switch as well, which I want to highlight, which is a wet switch. This wet switch does not take much water in order to trip the switch. So really what's happening is this little felt pad is going to wick up the water and it just takes a very, very small amount of water in order to have this switch trip. And you want to have this felt pad right here be able to be dry. Uh, and so in order to have this switch reset. And so here's a button. So once again, with this type of switch, you have the technician resetting this. So you just wipe this off with your paper towel uh, in order to dry this off after you take care of any problem. Of course, you know, we're on carpet right now, but this is gonna be in a secondary pan down low next to the unit. Now, if you have a situation where you don't have a, a pan, maybe the ductwork is going through the floor, you can still put this down low maybe in a spot where you can kind of uh, lock it into position uh, so it doesn't you know, get hit or anything like that, but it's gonna be an extra protection device for any moisture. So you don't have to have a whole lot of water in order for this to trip. It's gonna protect the building from any water damage. The secret to this whole thing is to have your dual redundancy, triple, you know, four different condensate safety switches. That building is not gonna have any problems if you have multiple condensate safety switches protecting the building. And so to learn more about all the different condensate management solutions, check out assurityhvacr.com. And so I just wanted to highlight each one of these solutions as we're here at AHR 2023. And make sure to check out our new book on inverter mini splits over the website at acservicetech.com.